welcome back to my channel everyone today we are going to make carrot sponge i'm going to show you how we make it back home and another way i prefer to make it as well so i have my carrots and you just want to cut the tip off and you know you have to wash your carrots then you just want to peel off the skin of your carrots So I'm going to wash it and I'm going to cut it up. So after washing your carrots, you just want to cut them up. And you can cut them how you're comfortable. You can go small if you want, in half. there you go i'm going to continue cut them and get back to you after cutting up the carrots you want to put it in your blender i am not putting in all at once i'm going to blend some bit by bit This is one and a half pounds of carrots. So I'm going to blend now. blending you want to strain your carrots remaining water put in here extract the juice from the pulp And you can use a cheese cloth or whatever cloth you're comfortable with to extract your juice from the carrot's pulp. Okay, I'm going to dump this in this container. This is all finished, all dried. And this is our carrot juice. This pulp, I'm not going to throw away. I always find uses to use this. Sometimes I make carrots, coconut tulum. You know, you can put it in a cake. Very useful. Okay, so let's continue to the next step. Now we are going to strain this one more time. Now we are going to put our evaporated milk. This is just good for me. I'm going to put in my spices now. Now, 
when you are blending the carrots you can choose to blend up your carrots in it if you want but I just like to grate it in there just to give it a nice flavor and you don't have to if you don't want to and you can put how much you want this is good for me Now I'm going to put in my nutmeg. My cinnamon powder. My vanilla extract. And you can use the white which one you prefer and your condensed milk to taste and if you want to use the condensed milk only you can feel free to do so because it's basically milk and sugar you can blend this in the blender as well I'm using my whisk And the spices depends on you and this is one tin of evaporated milk and I just use one cup now if you want to use a whole cup or less that's up to you yeah one cup is good for me and this is finished it is tasting so delicious it tastes in those spices very delicious look at it after you make it you can strain it another time if you want but this is good for me you can store it in your bottles, your juice cup. If you put it in your juice cup, you want to take your spoon and mix it up so that spice can come up and you enjoy a drink. Or if you put it in a bottle, you want to shake it up before you drink it. So delicious. So let me put this in the fridge and I'll show you the other way I like to make it. Let me show you how I make my drink in case you don't want to make the first one. So I have my carrots juice already. So I'm going to add my coconut milk. My one frozen banana. And you can use two if you want. And my peanut butter. Now I'm going to add my spices, nutmeg, cinnamon powder vanilla extract and time to blend say for example it's not sweet enough for you you can also add some honey or, as I said, more banana, more peanut butter. Or, if you don't want to use honey, you can use agave nectar. So, let me blend that up and see if it's sweet enough for me. So, let me pour a glass for you. Look at that. Mmm. Wow, the spices, that strong carrots. Oh, I love it. Okay, the next one. Mmm. Mm, very delicious I love it tasting that carrots the spices the peanut butter a bit of the banana very good so there you have it carrot sponge and my way 
So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.